everyone, this is Dr. Mohsin Singh. Today I'm going to teach you how to do the shoulder joint examination. As in every joint examination, first of all, we start by looking at the joint, feeling the joint, moving the joint, and doing some special tests. And before every examination, we need to explain the patient what we are going to do, the position and the exposure. So you need to tell the patient that I am going to look at your joint, I am going to feel your joint, and I will be also asking you to move your joint and doing some special tests. All right. Then I will ask you to remove your shirt for me, all right. And last thing is, I will uh, you will be uh, in standing position. I will be in standing position, all right. So after that, now I'm going to start the inspection. So first of all, I will be looking at the front, front redness and swelling and scar marks and skin changes. Then I'll be going towards the patient's side, letting the patient know. Then I'm going to go to the side, look for any redness and swelling, any dietary wasting. Then going towards the patient's back again, look for any redness and swelling and trapeze is wasting and you of scapula. This is inspection part. After the inspections, doctor, next is palpation. So I will check the temperature first. Warming of my hands and checking the temperature. External clavicular joint comparing with the surrounding. Chromic clavicular joint comparing with the surrounding and the glenohumeral joint comparing it as well. After that, checking the temperature, doctors, next step is checking the tenderness of the joint. So first of all, I will be checking the tenderness at the sternoclavicular joint looking towards the patient's face then this the acromioclavicular joint looking towards the patient's face glomerulohumeral joint and then palpating around the ring of the scapula as well all right at the back this is tenderness next thing is doctors now i will be asking the patient to move few movements this is ball and soccer joint so there will be six movements basically Alright, so first of all, I'm asking him to move his arms like this. And James, can you please move like your arms like this for me? Right, so this is flexion of the shoulder. All the way up. Alright, thank you so much. Now, can you please move your arms like this backward? So, this is the extension of the shoulder. Alright, James, can you please move your arms outward like this? So, this is abduction of the shoulder. All the way up. Overhead abduction. Alright, James, can you please cross your arms for me like this? So this is adduction. All right. Now internal and external rotation. James, can you please bend your elbow like this and now move it outward? This is external rotation. All right. Now inward. This is internal rotation. Thank you so much. So till now we have done with the inspection, palpation, and the movements. Now we are going to do some special tests. So there are basically three special tests. One is the painful arc. Painful arc will be positive rotator cuff impingement when the muscles get compressed under the acromion. All right, or the head of the humerus. Okay, James. Now I'm going to move your arm upward, and then I'll be asking you to move it down. Okay. Let me know if you feel any pain. So I'll be passively moving the arm upward like this. All right. Now can you please bring it downward? Don't worry, I am supporting. Let me know if you feel any pain. Thank you so much. This is painful. Our patient will feel pain if there is any impingement of any muscles. Next is empty can test. How to do this test? So I will ask you ask the patient to move his arm outward. Just can you please move your arm like this. Now bring it forward like this for me. Now move your thumb towards the floor. And I will be pressing on your arm. Please press against my force. Okay, alright. Thank you so much. So this is empty can test. So this test will be positive if there is any supra spinatus muscle tear. Alright, the last test is external rotation. I have explained uh, already as well. So this test I am uh, going to emphasize more because this test is positive in for those shoulders, definitely there will be lots of other movements as well. But this uh, movement will be the first that will be lost in frozen shoulder. And this is one of the most common cases you get in your exam. Just can you please bend your elbow like this for me and move it upward like this. All right, thank you so much. So patient with the frozen shoulder will not be able to do this movement. All right, thank you so much. This is all from the shoulder examination.